Funding for Scholastic Scrimmage is provided by the Air Products Foundation. The foundation is supported by donations from Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated as a charitable organization whose contributions provide support for educational, cultural, health, and community programs in the Lehigh Valley. The series is also made possible by Channel 39 School Services participating districts. WLVT-TV presents Scholastic Scrimmage, a weekly program featuring teams from Lehigh Valley High Schools in a contest of quick recall. Tonight's teams are from Emmaus High School and Deerup High School. Your host for Scholastic Scrimmage is Harry Price. Good evening and welcome to Scholastic Scrimmage. We'll meet the teams and the coaches, then we're going to begin the contest. From Emmaus High School, they are all seniors, Dave Hartenstein, Matt Connect. The captain is Cheryl Neese, Todd Butler, and the coach is Dave Roper, teacher of English. <laughs> From Deerup High School, Dana Lair, a junior. Captain Thomas Hendershot is a senior. Shannon Lair, Dana's sister, is a senior. Declan McCullough, a senior. And the coach is Jean Ham, teacher of the learning disabled. Channel 39 is pleased to announce that at the conclusion of the series, after the championship contest, the Air Products Foundation will present a $1,500 scholarship award to the championship high school and a $750 award to the runner-up high school. Both of these awards will be given in the names of the respective scholastic scrimmage teams. Remember, the answers to the questions on scholastic scrimmage require rapid recall of factual information and aren't necessarily indicative of academic training. The rules for the contest are as follows. On toss-up questions, you'll be given 10 points for each correct answer. 10 points will be deducted for an incorrect response. If you answer incorrectly, then the opposing team will have an opportunity to answer without penalty. They'll receive 5 points for a correct answer in this situation. Of course, each correct answer to a toss-up question gives you the opportunity to answer a bonus question without penalty. Team members may confer only on the bonus questions, and the answers to these questions should be given to me by the two team captains. A buzzer will signal the end of the contest. If it sounds while a question is being asked, the game stops. If the buzzer goes off while you're answering a question, however, you will be permitted to complete your answer, but no bonus questions will be asked. Are there any questions? If not, we'll begin the contest with our first toss-up. We're looking at a 10-point bonus. Name the right or the power of the government to seize private property for public use, provided there is just compensation. Dirif, Declan. Um, law of eminent domain. We will accept that, definitely. Eminent domain. Bonus, 10-pointer, Tom, for you and the team. Four bodies of water. Four bodies of water are recognized by geographers and map makers as oceans, omitting what is sometimes called the Antarctic. Name the f world's four oceans. Thomas. Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic, and Indian. You are correct. You have your ten points. Our next is a toss-up again looking at a ten-point bonus. Name the man who led the mutiny on the bounty. Amass Cheryl. Fletcher Christian. You are correct. Nate on the bounty. Here's your bonus, a ten-pointer multiple choice, Cheryl. Tell me which one of the following poems was not written, not written by Robert Frost. The Death of the Hired Man, The Mountain Whippoorwill, Mending Wall, and Birches. Cheryl. Death of a Hired Man. Incorrect. That was written by uh, Frost. The second, The Mountain Whippoorwill, was written by Stephen Vincent Benet. Going on for another bonus, our toss-up is uh, a 10-pointer. The bonus is 15, of course. For 10 points, what's the proper term, starting with the letter R, for mammals that chew their cud? Amaya, Cheryl. Ruminants. Correct. Cheryl, again, uh, a bonus for you and the team is a 15-pointer. For 10 points, name the three planets which have already been uh, photographed at close range by one or both of the Voyager spacecraft. Then for five points more, I want you to name the fourth and final planet with which a Voyager encounter is planned. Cheryl, first give me the three planets 
already encountered. Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus. And next, the fourth and final target. Neptune. You are correct on all four counts. You've got your 15 points. Going for a 10-pointer, toss up. For a given equilateral triangle, what is the ratio of the circumference of its circum circumscribed and inscribed circles? It would be two to one, two to one. Another toss-up, looking again at a 10-point bonus. Name the man who ruled Yugoslavia from 1945 until his death in... It's a Todd. Tito. Marshal Tito is correct. He was died May 4th, 1980. Bonus 10-pointer in the Six-Day War. Israel occupied territory of three Arab neighbors. The Gaza Strip and the Sinai Peninsula were taken from Egypt. For five points each, name the areas occupied by Israel since the Six-Day War at the expense of first, Syria. Golan Cheryl? The West Bank and Golan Heights. Incorrect. Incorrect. I, I asked the first question. We'll go on to the uh, next question of the bonus. Mr. Judge. Yeah, go to the next question, uh, which is worse. Okay. The, again, for five points, I want you to name the areas or area occupied by Israel since the Six-Day War at the expense of Jordan now. Cheryl? The West Bank and Golan Heights. Uh, again, I can't give it to you. You're giving me too much. The Golan Heights came from Syria, Cheryl, and the West Bank came from Jordan. Those would have been the two correct answers. Here's your toss-up. It's a multiple choice. The furrow followed free is an example of which one of the following? Dear Dana. An alliteration. Correct, Dana. Here's your bonus, a ten-pointer. What famous writer of English novels who was born in Poland used a fictitious narrator named Marlow in several of his works? Tom? Conrad. Joseph Conrad is correct. Uh, Lord Jim, uh, Heart of Darkness are examples of that. Here's your toss-up, looking at a ten-pointer. According to the second law of thermodynamics, entropy never decreases. For ten points, according to the first law of thermodynamics, what physical quantity is always conserved? It would be energy. Energy is never created or destroyed. Another toss-up. It's a visual toss-up. This artist, noted for his uh, unconventional behavior and a spectacular mustache, made his self-portrait as Mona Lisa, which you're seeing there on the monitor. Who's the artist? Salvador Dali, uh, the Spanish surrealist painter. Another toss-up, looking at a ten-point bonus. What imaginary line of latitude defines the southern border of the Torrid Zone? The southern border is the Tropic of Capricorn. Toss up. In poetry, what is the term used to describe a foot of two syllables, the first short or unstressed, and the second long or stressed? And ask Cheryl. And I am. You are correct, or I am this. Bonus Cheryl for you and the team, 10 pointer. It's a two part bonus question to test your vocabulary. For five points each, give me first an 11 letter adjective, starting with the letter P as in Paul meaning conscientious, precise, ceremonious, or strict. Cheryl? Punctilious. Correct. A ten-letter adjective starting with F, the letter F, meaning pertinent, apt, happy, or neat. Cheryl? Felicitous. Correct again. You've got your ten. This is a visual. It's on the monitor. For what value or values of X, if any, is it true that x squared minus x minus 6 is less than 0? Stira, Dana. x is between 3 and negative 2. Could you rephrase that? x is greater than negative 2 and is less than negative 3. I'll accept three. that. Bonus 10-pointer. It's a two-part bonus question on set theory. For five points each, give me the standard names for each of the following. First. A type of diagram used to picture the relationships among sets. Mm -hmm. Thomas? Venn diagram. Correct. 
the set which consists of all the elements which belong to at least one of two given sets. Union. Thomas. Union. You are correct. Toss up, going for a 10 pointer. Give me the exact year in which Hawaii obtained statehood. MAS Matt. 1959. Correct, it's the 50th state. Bonus 10 pointer, Cheryl. I'll name two famous secretaries of state. For five points each, you identify the presidents they served. First, Cordell Hall. Cheryl. Eisenhower. Incorrect. FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Second, George C. Marshall. Cheryl. Truman. You are correct. He served from 1947 to 1949 under Harry Truman and proposed the Marshall Plan. Going for a 10-pointer, toss-up, multiple choice. Which of the following author's writings do not fit in to the romantic period in American literature? Do not fit in. Herman Melville, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Stephen Crane, or Edgar Allan Poe. Amaya, Cheryl. Stephen Crane. Correct. He's a realist. Here's your bonus, a 10-pointer, Cheryl. On what part of his body does Stephen Crane's hero bear his red badge of courage? Cheryl. His head. Correct. Plus, I'm going for a 10-pointer. Atmospheric scientists have been puzzling about the implications of an apparent hole in the ozone layer. For 10 points, over what continent? Amaya, Todd. Antarctica. Correct. Over what continent is this apparent hole located? And it seems that since 1945, when they've been studying, the amount of ozone over the continent has been decreasing. Here's your bonus, a 10-pointer. For five points each, Cheryl and team, I want you to name first the acid and second the base, which can neutralize one another to produce water and ordinary table salt. Cheryl, the acid. Hydrochloric acid. And the base? Sodium hydroxide. NaOH is correct. Going for a 10-pointer toss-up. During World War I, present-day Syria and Iraq were part of what empire? Dear of Tom. British Empire? Incorrect. Over to Emmaus, it's a toss-up. Todd. French. Not the French, it's the Ottoman Empire or the Turkish Empire we would have accepted. Toss up, looking at a 10 pointer. It means uh, rapid changes in the brightness in a celestial or of a celestial body. Again, rapid changes in the brightness of a celestial body. For 10 points, and no correcting yourself, once you've begun, what's the correct spelling of scintillation? And there, Cheryl. S C I N T I L L A T I O N. Correct, Cheryl. We're going to give you your bonus, Cheryl, and then we're going to take a halftime break. It's a 10-point bonus, five points apiece answer these American history questions. First one, what nickname was given to Chinese laborers who worked on the railroads of California in the 19th century? No response, it would be coolies. Second one, this woman from Maine was the first woman to become a United States senator. response from the MS team. It would be Margaret Chase Smith. She was also the first woman to serve in both houses of Congress. We're going to take a halftime break now with the score at half. 130 for MS, 50 for Deer of High School. <laughs> Dave Hartenstein, this is our first round. During our first round, we do ask our contestants to tell us about their families. We'd like you to begin. All right. Well, my stepfather works at Mack Trucks in the accounting department. My mother just got a big promotion at Rodale Press. She's now an editor. And I have a junior, a brother, named Dan. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Matt, connect. Yes, my father is an area sales representative for a nationwide corporation. And uh, my mother is an area bus driver, newspaper deliverer. And I have a sister who's also a junior named Jen. Okay, thank you, Matt. Cheryl Neese, Captain. My father is on disability retirement from Mac Trucks. My mother works part-time for the Mac Credit Union. And my brother Steve is also a junior at EMAS. Thank you, Cheryl. Finally, Todd Butler. 
My mother is the director of community relations for Wiley House, and my sister is a freshman at IR Junior High School. Thank you, Todd. Thanks, Joe Nass. Let's go over to Deer. If we're going to begin with uh, one of our two sisters, and Dana Lair will tell us about her mother and father. Shannon's and my father is an abuse intake supervisor for the Lehigh County, and my mother is a homemaker. Thank you, Dana. Thomas Hendershot, the captain. My father is a Lutheran minister. My mother is a registered nurse. My brother is a Russian translator in Seattle, Washington. My sister is also studying to be a registered nurse. Thanks, Tom. Let's go over to Shannon Lair, who will tell us about her brothers and sisters. <laughs> Dana's and my younger sister, Jolene, is in fourth grade at Hiram Dodd Elementary School. Okay, so you have no brothers, right. correct? <laughs> Declan McCullough. Um, my mother is an English teacher at Northeast Middle School in Bethlehem, and my father is an editorial vice president at Rodale Press in Emmaus. Thanks, Declan. Thanks to Deerif. Again, the score at half is 130 for a mass of 50 for Deerif. Still a close contest. Make up ground quickly. First toss-up, going for a 10-point bonus. It's a visual toss-up beyond the monitor there. What is the value of x if the log of x to the base 6 plus the log of 4 to the base 6 is equal to 2? It's a mass, Dave. 32. Incorrect. Over to Dira. Dana? Two. No, it's nine. It would be nine. Another toss-up. The offspring of a male horse and a female donkey is known as a hinny, H-I-N-N-Y. Ten points. What name is given to the offspring of a female horse and a male donkey? Dear if Dana? A mule. Correct. Bonus ten-pointer, Tom. Standard sea level air pressure is 1013.2 millibars. 1013.2 millibars. For 10 points, how many inches of mercury are equivalent to this? And your answer must be correct to the hundredth of an inch. Tom? 14.71. Now it's 29.92 inches of mercury. Toss up, going for a 10 pointer. Name the former Texas governor and U.S. Secretary of the Treasury who filed for bankruptcy in 1987 after the collapse of his. Amass Todd. Connolly. Correct, after the collapse of his multi million dollar uh, Texas real estate empire. He recently auctioned his personal belongings, and it is John Connolly. Bonus 10 pointer, Cheryl. One of the biggest scandals of the 20th century. Uh, American politics took its name from oil reserve lands at Teapot Dome. For 10 points, tell me the state in which Teapot Dome is located. Cheryl? Wyoming. Correct. Toss up. Going for a 10 point bonus. Give me the six letter combining form that starts with the letter S and means split or divided. No response. It would be uh, schizo or schizo. S-C-H-I-Z-O. Toss-up. Listen, toss-up. Listen to the excerpt. We just heard a segment of, uh, of the ballet entitled La Sacre du Printemps. It was composed in 1913 by Igor Stravinsky. Give me the English equivalent of its title. It's The Rite of Spring, again by, that's R-I-T-E, The Rite of Spring, by Stravinsky. Toss up, going for a ten-pointer. What was the name of the English political party which, during the American Revolution, favored the colonies? I'm asked Todd. The Whigs. Correct. Bonus ten-pointer, Cheryl. Napoleon Bonaparte died on the island of St. Helena in the South Atlantic. The two Mediterranean islands are also important in the story of Napoleon. For five points each, I want you to identify the following. First, the large island on which he was born. Cheryl? Corsica. Correct. And uh, the small island to which he was exiled during most of 1814 and early 1815. Cheryl? Elba. Correct. Again, you've got your ten. Toss up, looking at a 10 point bonus. For 10 points, give me the word that starts with the letter C, as in cat, and refers to a small flock of.
part, uh, partridges, quails, or grouse. That's deer of Declan. Covey? Correct. C-O-V-E-Y. Bonus for you, Tom, and the team. It's uh, going to be a spelling bonus. Uh, five points apiece. No correcting yourself, of course, once you begin. The first word means uh, the state of being sober, sobriety. Tom. S-O-B-R-I-E-T-Y. Correct. Uh, I'm going to talk now. I'm looking for one who drives a car, chauffeur. Tom. C-H-A-U-F-F-E-U-R. Correct again. You've got your 10, Tom. Toss up, looking at a 10-pointer. There are four nuclei in a molecule of ammonia. For 10 points, what's the total number of electrons in a molecule of ammonia? Hydrogen, uh, the three hydrogens would be NH3, would have three and seven nitrogen, so a total of 10. Toss up. Mathematics. What is the measure of each interior angle of an equiangular hexagon? And ask Matt. 120 degrees. Correct. Bonus 10 pointer, Cheryl. And this will be on the monitor there. If arc XY is two thirds of arc XYZ, which has greater length, arc XY or diameter XZ? Cheryl. Diameter XZ. No. Guessed wrong. It's arc XY. Arc XY. Toss up going for a 10 pointer. For 10 points, name the West Coast American city where in 1945 delegates from about 50 nations drew up the official charter of the United Nations. And they asked Todd. San Francisco. Correct, Todd. Bonus 10 pointer, Cheryl. I want you to name the five permanent members of the United Nations Security Council. Cheryl? The United States, the Soviet Union, China, France, and Great Britain. We will accept Great Britain, United Kingdom. Going for a 15-point bonus. Toss-up. In what Shakespearean play does Fortinbras figure as the enemy of the hero? Dear of Tom. Hamlet. Correct. The Prince of Norway. Bonus 10-pointer, Tom. Name the three parts or major divisions of Dante's The Divine Comedy. It would be uh, Inferno, or Hell, Purgatorio, Purgatory, and Paradiso, which is Paradise, or Heaven. Here's your toss-up, looking at a 15-point bonus. Give me the uh, German word for the annexation of Austria to Germany, which occurred in 1938. And ask Dave. Anschluss. Correct. means political union in German. Here's your bonus, 15-pointer, Cheryl. During World War II, five countries of Europe, not counting Turkey, or any of the extremely tiny countries remained officially neutral. For five points each, name any three of those five neutral countries. Cheryl? Switzerland, Sweden, and Spain. You're correct on all three. Portugal and Ireland, or Ire, uh, would be the other two. Going for a ten-pointer toss-up, it's a multiple choice. In the sentence, she doesn't dare tell the teacher is the word tell a participle, a gerund, an infinitive, or an indirect object? Dear of Dana. An infinitive? Correct, Dana. Ten point bonus, Dana. Really, Tom and team. For five points apiece, Tom, give the Latin prefix for each of the following. Uh, beginning with the letter A, it means before or previous. Tom? Apro? No, it would be uh, ante, A-N-T-E. Uh, the next one, beginning with the letter E, beyond or outside. Tom? Exo? 
No, it would be extra or extra o. E X T R A or T R O on the end. Going for a 10 point bonus toss up. Name the individual who was the Democratic presidential nominee in 1896, 1900, and 1908. Dear of Tom. Brian? Correct, William Jennings Bryan. Each of those years, he was unsuccessful, of course, in all three tries. Bonus 10 pointer, multiple choice, Tom. <clears throat> the principal restrictions on political activities of federal employees are contained in which one of the following? Would it be the Wagner Act, the Taft Hartley Act, the Hatch Act, or the Corrupt Practice Act? Tom? Corrupt Practice Act? No, it would be the Hatch Act. It was an act passed in 1939 named after Senator Carl Hatch of New Mexico. Here's your toss-up going for a 15-pointer. For 10 points, give me the eight-letter term, starting with the letter B as in boy, that refers to any one of the marine crustaceans that attach themselves... Dear of Tom? Barnacle? Correct. They attach themselves to logs, uh, floating logs, rocks, and ship hulls. Bonus, Tom, 15-pointer. Medal of Liberty winners are those immigrants who have made substantial contributions to American life. I'll name three winners, and for five points each, you tell me the countries from which they came. First one, Bob mm -hmm. Hope. Okay, the buzzer goes off while I'm asking the question. There was no buzzer from the DIRF team, so that is the final score. It's 215 to 120. Tom, we want to thank you and uh, Deer for being with us. You always uh, do extremely well, and of course you're going up against uh, a traditionally strong team, as has Deer have been. But Tom, uh, Shannon, Declan, good luck in college. Dana, we look forward to having you again next year with us. A mass congratulations. We're going to see you back here again in the second round, and you're going against La Heighton in the early April. Next week's contestants, if I can find my sheet here, are from Salisbury and Catasauqua High Schools. This is Harry Price. Thank you for being with us, and good night. Scholastic scrimmage is provided by the Air Products Foundation. The foundation is supported by donations from Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated as a charitable organization whose contributions provide support for educational, cultural, health, and community programs in the Lehigh Valley. The series is also made possible by Channel 39 School Services participating districts.